What's up everyone, welcome back to Awesome American Trains. Today, I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be showing you tips on how, uh, on one of the most popular metas in Overwatch right now, which is now, Double Shield. And, although it's not as popular, it's slowly dying out, it's still pretty popular today. Uh, yeah, it's still pretty popular. Uh, yeah, it's very popular and it's very been using it, been useful, been been used a lot. And and I'm gonna show you tips on how what it is, how to use it if you need to use it, and how to counter it. So let's just get, so let's just jump right in. Let's just let's just cue the intro. So now, so, so what is? So the question is, what is a shield meta? I mean, shield, a double shield. Basically, it's, um, first of all, in my opinion, it's not, it's not really completely new. It's just, the, the meta, it was been, it's been used constantly right now. I think parts of it, parts of the meta have been used before. You know, other team comps that you might not really know of. Uh, so, so this pirate ship, pirate ship usually has two shields, like, Reinhardt shield and a Versus shield and it usually works a and that's technically using double shield with a Sigma with a S Sigma and now you can probably use Pirate Ship right now with Sigma of course but parts of it have been used but now Sigma but now has been mainly common because of Sigma because of his barrier and Orsa's barrier so it it's pretty it's pretty useful has uses and it's as you can see in this clip of the stream by Karkyu, in this in this team he has a double shield right now, Sigma and Marissa. Uh, so that's an example right there, and it's and it's pretty useful, and, I, and, and it's very useful because it can block a lot of damage, especially important things like auto nades, sleep darts. So it's very useful, and also very good at pushing, like payload and stuff. It's very good at pushing and attacking, and it can be very useful. So, uh, uh, so, uh, okay, so, okay, so next, okay, so. Now, so now you know what it is, and so like, so like, when do you, how do you, when do you, you, when do you use it? Question. You probably should use it when. It's probably best. I think in my, in my opinion, is it might be, it might be useful. I think it's probably useful on any map, really. Maybe for defending and attacking. Me, leave me probably a little more for attacking. Cause it's useful, and also. And, and defending is also pretty good, and it's mainly used in these types of maps where we're not. I don't I control the control maps like where you had to king of the hill, stuff like that. Uh, those maps are are also alright. They're not as probably not. Yeah, they're they're all right, but yeah. So, so yeah, it's useful in all the scenarios. So, okay, okay. So now I'm gonna, so, so, so now I'm gonna teach you the part that people. So, so, so now I, I wanna teach you the part of how to counter the, the, the meta, like how do you deal with it in, in your games. Uh, there are many ways to deal with it. My opinion, this is deal. This is probably an easy meta to deal with, because there's a lot of heroes, DPS, support, tank, heroes to deal with this. So, uh, uh, so it's very useful. Uh, so the first hero that I think would be good on this, I'm gonna, I'm so I'm gonna start off with the hero that I think you should avoid when dealing with double shield and. Then Thing that here that I think you should be avoiding in double shield are probably snipers unless you're really really good at them. This probably includes Widow and Ash. And Ana is still okay because she's good at healing people, but 
those two heroes are don't really good do damage against shields and you have to be really good at them to make yourself useful on those subs of heroes if you're not getting you not because if you're not getting good at them you might not get too valued you might your hero your hero might not get the value of the team so if you can I wouldn't if you unless you're really good I wouldn't recommend doing uh, snipers now the hero now we got those heroes that you I should I like got the hero that you avoided. Now we gotta discuss the hero that maybe that are good for shield bash. Uh, so the first hero, for the first hero, and he's kind of good. It's Doomfist. A uh, Doomfist can is a good counter to most of shield bash because he can rocket punch right through shields, and he has good team composition. He can pretty much out heal. He can pretty much get rid of the team. He's good. Uh, but but his hitbox is also pretty big, so it makes him very easy to get hit by other people. So it's well, that's also a risk right there. The next hero is Bastion on some maps. Uh, Bastion is pretty good at dealing with shields because especially with Risha and Sigma, you can quickly like shred their shields down and quickly deal with them. Of course, Sigma can also eat Bastion's barriers. Bastion's help Bastion's boats, but as long as Bastion knows how to like But as long as you know explain Bastion know how to deal with that kinetic press then Probably you'll probably get to full value of Bastion uh, Yeah Yeah, the enemy team in this clip are using Bastion right now and and I don't know if it's working right so far it's been working pretty well because the shield all um, yeah, so far the healers for them. So yeah, of course at Bastion there are two types. Of, I'm not gonna go too detail about Bastion, but you can be flanking, flanking, or you can be able to shield. And it's all about the decisions you make. Sometimes it's best to be able to shield and healers. Sometimes it's best to be flanking. So it depends on the situation you're in, and you just gotta. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the next on the next on this list is uh, is is John Grant. This next on this list is John Grant. Uh, basically, what John Grant is very good at these barriers. He can quickly destroy a Sigma barrier or its barrier. And as Oris has talent second cooldown for barrier now, to make it easier to destroy the barrier and get a full value out of it. Dungrass is pretty good. And and his and his and his, and his grenades do a lot of damage, despite them being easy to dodge and him having a large just on his box. So he's a good guy, he's a good character. And his ripped and if you use Riptar right, you can also get too val very valuable too. Uh, uh, so, so yeah, yeah, that's what it is, and uh, so yeah, so yeah, I'm so yeah, another hero that's good in my opinion. Uh, another hero that's good is like. Oh yeah, uh, a maze probably also pretty good because she can freeze people and she can headshot people with her icicle and practically and make everybody, uh, anybody and anybody who is in the line of sight immobile. So that's pretty good counter. Yeah, and also Farah is also a good counter to shield, uh, shield, double shield because she can, because she can flank around the shield and. And most tanks can't really aim at her too much, especially if she's not near any ground. So like, Rissa's projectile cannot really hit her too much. And... And also... And also... Yeah. Uh... So yeah, that's pretty cool.
Okay, so Red Pair is pretty good. And as long and if, if it's just running Sigma, which you probably will, you're probably gonna be very so they're probably they're probably gonna be very, they're if you had to be say we're probably had to be where building can angle because Sigma's ammo can bounce off of walls and hit you. So be aware of that. That's pretty much what you have to deal with and things so bad. Other than that, there can be good counters. Um uh who else I trying to think here. Yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, oh yeah, Reaper is also pretty good at flanking, so he can be pretty good at these things. Uh, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he can be pretty good at these things. Uh, so yeah, and to, now in terms of healers, uh, Ana can be good at pretty much on a, I mean, Ana and can be can can all be can be a good, but but sure, but she can be blocked. But her anonades can be blocked by stigma barrier, so that's a disadvantage. But well, as long as he doesn't probably learn how to dodge that, he should probably fi be fine with her. And Baptiste is also pretty good with with these things. The yeah, Baptiste is pretty good. Uh, and my. Because of his shield, because of his mortality field and his, uh, and his amplification matrix. And, yeah, and there's also, and also, and also Moira as a breathe kick pig. Cause her heal, cause she can pass through barriers most of the time and, and it can be very useful. So yeah. And the hero that I mostly avoid is probably Nyana because he has a little cyber build survivably late rate and he can probably get defeated very easily so I would avoid that at all costs if you can. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, that's all for this video. Hopefully you learned something today. Oh, oh yeah, I actually forgot. Thanks. Uh, more good, more good, more good counter for this shield, double shield for in terms of tanks. And the hero that I would think of is probably maybe Diva because of Rick. you can eat everything and and you can also run your own double shield in response to theirs. I didn't sort of just like yeah. So you so you can join their team comp too, yeah. And maybe maybe I don't know about I don't know about Reinhardt, but mm -hmm. so yeah.
So Reiner is also pretty good, and also Rodog is pretty good at flinging too. Uh, I, I pretty much all of the tanks can be useful, I guess. M but particularly the ones who are good at armor and shields. So I, um, so like he Wrecking Ball and, he and Wrecking Ball and Winston are, are can be usable, but they're not at, as high damaging as they are. So that's the only problem. That's pretty much the only problem with them. So yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you hope you learned something today, and drop a like down below. And if you want to see more like these videos, please like the video. I hope you see you next time. Other than that, thanks for watching.